So here's an example of how to mulch. So you see the drip line where the tree ends. You want to put the heavy mulch in that zone going out in a big mulch donut. And then you hopefully have happy trees. When you plant young trees, if they're jungle plants like this durian, you want to cover it to give it some shade if you have a lot of open sun. And here in the tropics, the sun is very strong and so it can burn the leaves could even kill the plant also a bit more so maybe I would put it a bit further but yeah here's a good example of a jackfruit this is grafted from Florida and the mulch should go on the drip line so this is a decent job yeah it's good actually Sometimes the workers put it a bit close and I have to come and fix it with my hoe. Um, I'll show you an example. So here's another one. So this uh, we'll have to fix a little bit and pull it back. So the, pull it back. So this is a um, manure that we get in compost sacks. So it's a bit close as you can see the drip line ends here. So actually all this should be pushed back to this line just where the last leaves are so even further back out further out I should say there's another jackfruit so it's doing good maybe move it on that line again so a little bit out here's one that I fix I'll show you an example so they put the mulch or the uh, compost sacks. The mulch was kind of around that area and so I got some fruits on the Rolinia coming and I pulled the back, excuse the chainsaw, I'm just clearing an area. So here we have it further out. So it's still not perfect. It should actually be here but I pushed it from here all the way out so it's a little bit better. Um, and over here I pushed it out. So I want this tree to expand in horizontal um, plane rather than vertical. So I actually cut it up there. And here's an, another example where it should be pulled out. So this sour up there. And also with the bananas you want to keep not this many big ones. So this is a banana stand I did not maintain. Um, but uh, Keep it fertilized so yeah continuing here's another jackfruit there jackfruit jackfruit one of my favorites still waiting for the fruit and um, this one here is a small jabo di caba so they seem to be okay in open sun but i would probably prefer to have them in the shade for at least a year first it's been a so here's what i did i moved underneath it back out from the drip line and then I cover that up with the uh, hay or grass that's around probably could cover this also and sticks and leaves that's good organic matter it's, yeah waiting for the fruit should be next year I hope that's gonna be awesome it's looking good so yeah I'll probably neglect this place for some months and then the grass will grow quickly as we go into the rainy season. This durian was rescued. I don't know, it's been slow to grow. But I have better durians somewhere. So. Yeah. No hope in this one. I don't know. Well maybe these leaves look nice, but they don't feel as strong as they should for durian tree. But uh, anyway, I can always put something else in that spot if it croaks. Probably too close to other trees anyway, being a large durian. So plant spacing is important. So here, for example, these two jackfruits, probably a bit too close. It's better to have given them about 8 meters. And I didn't actually check. And this is probably about 5 or 6. So yeah, anyway. I'll figure it out once they get big, I guess. <laughs> the food forest. 
is in this truck. The truck is coming along, bringing the roof sheets, everything fun. Coming nicely. There goes the dump truck. Delivered my uh, side or uh, top piece, whatever it's called. It's gonna go over there on the top, so yeah, pretty nice. It's measuring 10 meters from each durian. So we're gonna have them spaced out in this field. One day there'll be huge durians. And there's some workers of mine planting. So I'm doing the measuring, choosing where to plant, and I'll help with planting too because we got like, I don't know, 20 more. 25 maybe trees, I don't know. We'll see. Good times in the field. Love it here. It's nice to restore the pasture grass. Here's the Rambai. And over there, Manteng. Up there, Champajak. Oh no, actually, Champadak. And I forget. Yeah, Durian. Lots of Durian. Uh, at least like six, I think, five or six anyway. And uh, this row has the kind of small sweet fruits like menteng, rambutan, rambai. Pretty cool stuff. Achatillo, which is actually, yeah, uh, rambutan. And uh, pulasan, I think, as well. So, yeah. And then I think the bottom area will do more like jackfruits and aki. And then somewhere with the boundary, I haven't decided where to put the uh, Salak snake fruit because it's spiky I, I want it on like a boundary line place that's further um, and kind of acts as a fence I guess so yeah it could be cool and now I'm just adding the phosphorus phosphate mineral rock dust and uh, magnesium to each plant specific measurement and I'll do it again in half a year and then uh, every three months so add more fertilizer so we'll see probably weed back in like three months as well we'll see how weeds grow here so it'll be nice from the Amazon jungle peace and love